Would you look at this? The Nuke is back on YouTube. This is the first time, I think, since Monaco that the Nuke is back. And hello, everyone. And I am driving this beast. I'm excited for today. I'm heading into London. I'm driving into London. I'm going to be parking where Sam lives. I'm meeting up with Sam. Um, unfortunately, he's back in one of my <laughs> videos. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. We are headed to a pretty cool event today in Covent Garden. We're going to a James Bond themed event. And I'm gonna be Team Aston Martin today, and Sam, no doubt, is gonna be Team Jaguar based on the car that he owns. Over the weekend, I actually caught up with Spectre. It came out whilst I was out in Monaco, and we all decided that we'd wait till the UK to go and watch it. And I went and watched it with my girlfriend on Saturday, and have to say, it is one of the best films that I have seen in the cinema for quite some time. And I felt quite patriotic at the end of the screening because the cinema seems to be dying recently, it's too expensive, and the, now that there's no Orange uh, 2 for Wednesday or whatever it was, Orange Wednesdays, um, I've seen a real sort of drop in every time I go watch a film at the cinema that there's zero people in there, and you're sharing a cinema room with like four or five other people. So to go and watch Spectre two or three weeks after it is already out, and the whole cinema be completely packed out, I felt quite patriotic that it was a British film, it had British cars in it, and overall, it was a really, really cool film. So I'm excited now. I've already seen the DB10 in person. It's a very, very small car, and it's based on the V8 Vantage, if I remember correctly. I've already seen that, and I saw that at Salon Privé. However, to see it in a different light with the Jaguar, this is going to be the first time that I've seen the Jaguar, and I've heard as well that they've also got other James Bond vehicles there. So if you like James Bond, this is a vlog for you because I'm going to be vlogging all day the trip into London um, hopefully see some supercars on the way in even though it is pretty wet out there um, I'm just gonna to vlog today and hopefully hopefully we've got an exciting day ahead of us okay so we are on the M25 and we are plowing through with no traffic touch wood it stays like that and I just want to talk to you guys one-to-one -one. I feel like we haven't had an update or an announcement or video or just a chilled out vlog and whilst we're on the motorway let's do that let's talk about uploads on the supercars and the YouTube channel where the channel's going very very briefly okay I've been working really really hard to try and up my game on the editing side of things, incorporating music, incorporating different editing styles that I'm just currently learning. I also want to upgrade my camera equipment, get more than two or three different angles per video, so I can start getting much better and more entertaining content. I'm also working on better opportunities to drive cool cars, go to cool places, and continue living this dream that I feel like every day I have to pinch myself, because it is utterly insane. When I turn 25, it will hopefully mean that my insurance will cover me to drive a lot more vehicles. So hopefully I'll be able to drive a lot more high powered cars, supercars, sports cars, all sorts of seriously cool stuff is hopefully gonna be happening very, very soon on the supercars and on the YouTube channel. And that starts from today and tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to Dub Customs and I'm gonna leave it at that because there's some cool stuff happening to my Lamborghini. I'm gonna be getting new tires and a first modification is going to be happening this month in November and then the second thing happening to my Lamborghini is going to be happening in December so stay tuned for that so I suppose that's a quick update I just want to apologize for those that have been expecting daily vlogs I'm working really hard behind the scenes at upping the quality of my videos and I also felt when I was daily vlogging before New York some of the days were really really boring unfortunately I haven't got a cool enough or interesting enough life to be able to daily vlog and get away with it. There's just some days where I have to be in the office punching my keyboard, doing emails and boring stuff like that. So I wanna try and cut that out of the Supercars of London YouTube channel because that is not Supercars or in London. And I'm gonna work and focus on the cars, the lifestyle, the travel and the personal side of just following me behind the scenes of what I get up to with these awesome cars and living just an incredible dream that I've been able to do so. And thank you to everyone one who has subscribed and supported the Supercars of London YouTube channel or even my own Wallace PJW accounts on social media and the Supercars of London clothing which is going to be coming out this weekend so all of those thank you everyone for all of your support it's so humbling and so overwhelming how many of you guys are out there commenting liking retweeting all sorts of stuff on social media
media and of course commenting, liking and disliking and sharing my videos on YouTube. So I think there is the heart to heart that we have been so overdue. It's been long overdue having a heart to heart with you guys. So thank you for watching. Let's head on, let's nail London. Let's go and check out these James Bond cars and have an awesome day. As I sign off, a C63 pulls up. Oh no, and an F-Type. V6 F type looks awesome. Do you realize or know that you are in London? Traffic everywhere. The slowest form of traffic. I haven't even introduced you yet because I don't really want you on the video. We are one block away from the London Film Museum. And I've just been notified via Sam from Seen Through Glass that we are going to this thing that apparently anyone can go to. So you can go and check out all of these cars that have been in the James Bond films. So like I said previously in this vlog, if you like James Bond and you like the cars, Come and check it out. We have made it at the London Film Museum and we are here for this, the Cars of Spectre, which as this video is going live tomorrow, when you're watching it today, it is now open with the cars from Spectre, including the DB10 and the Jaguar. I think they are right at the back, so we're gonna to have to walk through all of these cool cars. I'm just throwing <laughs> Sam is getting set up and is making a mess of it. Um, so we're gonna walk through, check out some of the cars that they've got here, um, and then go and see the Spectre cars, which I cannot wait to see the Jaguar and the DB10. Is there any other cars in there? There's lots of other cars, but from Spectre, I think there might be a Land Rover. A little bit. Oh, oh, okay. Um, well, for now, I'm just going to film all of the cars that are here. Now this section is what I love to see. Such a classic car, I absolutely love this and I love seeing them on the road as well. Aston Martin Vanquish from 2002 that was in Die Another Day. And um, it's also got the Jaguar. Used to spit missiles, um, but this, is, this for me is just the coolest thing ever. It is the coolest Aston Martin and it is what made me fall in love with Aston Martin. This car, I know that they're unreliable, and I know the gearbox was supposed to be horrible when Jeremy Clarkson drove it on Top Gear and everyone basically drove this car and said the gearbox was horrible, but it, as a car, aesthetically and sound-wise, that is a winner. For me, the DBS was the successor to the Vanquish over there, so the cars in between, the DB9 and the Vantage, for me, one that cool. The Vanquish obviously with a chunky, wide, aggressive stance, and then when they brought out the DBS for Casino Royale, this car is incredible. I love seeing this on the road, I love hearing it on the road. I've actually driven a convertible version of this, and um, it's an awesome car. It's a GT car, it's very relaxed and chilled out, but I think when they drove it for the DBS and crashed it and rolled it, um, it wasn't so chilled out for Daniel Craig as he was inside the car. But, I mean, they could have put a real, a normal one in, one that hadn't been crashed, so that I can look at it. Whatever this is, I don't know. This is what I'm here to see. The Aston Martin DB10. Oh, it's got all of the drawings up here as well. I think that's worth having a look at. How they designed one of the sexiest cars in the world. Look at it. And over there is the Jaguar that has been burnt. The drag. Oh, no, no, this is half a DB10. Whatever happened here? It's a stunt car. Look at the interior. Nice. Ooh. Let's get a proper look. I think I'm getting in that guy's shot. Oh my god, this has been completely ruined. I wanted to see a real one, not this. But it looks like it's on fire, as it was in the film when the DB10 spat flames out of the exhaust. So, pretty cool. 
We are, where are we? Where is this? Meat Market. Meat Market, look at this place. This is like some underground train station that serves big burgers. But we're actually like a couple of stairs up. We're well, not even underground, but it looks like it. This place is cool. Here we go. I feel like I'm a kid at Christmas. Sam's already finished. I've made a mess of it. And mine is a chicken. It looks like KFC. Actually, it looks like KFC. Oh well. I'm sure it'll be nice. A gloomy, a gloomy afternoon in London. It's starting to rain. We're still going to go to Mayfair and Nice. We can try and find some cars um, because my Instagram and Twitter at the moment is so Aston Martin biased. So <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> so we are going to go and try and hunt some cars down. Uh, get on the tube first and then hunt some cars down. Covent Garden at the moment is gloomy. So we've got a G350 there and here we've got an absolute animal, Brabus. Oh, and red interior. Red interior. Wow, this thing is a beast. Contrast between a G350 and that with a Porsche across the road. Would you spec your Bentley in bright orange? We've come across this. Lovely Ferrari that I'm going to try and... Oh, there's a hurricane down there, I think. I think we found a hurricane and this FF. I do like that spec. Oh, nice. Look how much difference. So we are back in the Nuke, uh, and it's time to head home now. The Google Maps is talking to me. The weather isn't so bad. It's been a good day. It's been a long day on my feet, getting pretty wet. Uh, very windy in Knightsbridge. But as we were up in Covent Garden at the London Film Museum, it was really, really cool to see the Bond cars, and especially the Spectre cars, having just recently seen the film. So overall, I reckon that was a pretty good day and hopefully it's come across cool on this vlog which is going to be going live tomorrow. Um, so I need to head home and edit it. I am going to go to SB Race Engineering but by the time I get there, annoyingly, it is going to be dark and probably likely the garage is going to be shut. I just need to pop in and see the guys there. Yes, that is the end of today and as well throughout today I've been getting some mixed messages from the guys at Dub Duh. from the guys at Dub Customs and Gad Tuning who are going to be helping me out tomorrow whether that's actually going to take place or not is um, a different story because apparently the tires that are supposed to be going on the car haven't turned up yet so we've got fingers crossed and it is going to be right down to the wire if it happens tomorrow I've got filming on Thursday with the car so ideally it needs to be done for that if not it's going to have to get done on the Friday thank you for watching and hopefully you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you love James Bond or if you love the cars that are there there's tons of Aston Martin so um, yeah I was pretty happy so yes I will see you hopefully fingers crossed tomorrow for a pretty cool vlog but if not then the following day I'm going to be nailing this week but at the moment and it seems like everything's all over the place which is typical but regardless I'm going to be working hard to get these videos out so I will see you when I see you cheers guys thanks now for me this is the most annoying hidden cost incurred when you're on a road trip and it's something that I've had to deal with both in my R8 and this car because this system here in the sat nav is exactly the same in the R8 and the Lamborghini Gallardo in the R8, I hated it. It was an awful system, it didn't work, it took me down one-way systems, it took me down bus roads, specifically designed for buses when I was in Paris. In Europe, this thing is awful. In England, it's not even that good. You can only type in four letter postcodes, and as most people know, they're now seven or eight digits. So, this system is very, very dated, and I hate using it, which means if I want to know where I'm going anywhere in Europe, I need to download Google Maps, 